During the holidays, there will be plenty of online deals and steals that you will likely want to take advantage of. But before you surf the net, you'll want to be sure to guard yourself against potential scams and online threats. Here to share what steps you can take to protect yourself when shopping online from the Better Business Bureau is Danielle Rudd, Communications Director. Good morning, Danielle. Thank you so much for joining us. Well, thank you for having me. I'm happy to be here. Well, of course we know the holiday season is upon us and everybody, more than half of Americans actually, are going to be shopping online for their holiday gifts. Can you give us a few tips on what we should be looking out for regarding online threats? Sure. Unfortunately, during the holiday season, um, there's always going to be a Grinch out there. Scammers are always looking for ways to take advantage of people, unfortunately, especially in the time of giving. Uh, some of the things that we hear about a lot that many consumers face um, are different threats from phishing emails, um, purchasing uh, different items on websites that are unsecured when you're sending in your personal credit card information. Um, even sharing too much personal information about yourself. Um, and then, of course, we hear about websites that are spoofed from popular retailers. Um, so you may be browsing websites that have been created by scammers, but you don't know because it looks uh, very much alike um, to the original retailer's website. That's actually really scary when you think about it. What can we be doing to arm and protect ourselves against these online threats? Sure. What you want to do is if you are ever going to be shopping online, you want to make sure that you are shopping on a secured website. What you can do is you can look in the URLs browser and make sure it says HTTPS. That S means it's a secure website and you can look for the lock icon and that just creates um, a sense of security and knowing that your information is going to be um, transmitted securely. Uh, also, if maybe you can't find that, what you can do is you can right click on that website and click on properties and you can see if the website's encrypted. Uh, Another thing that you can do to protect yourself is pay with a credit card. Credit cards actually offer more layers of protection than our debit cards would. Um, under federal law with credit cards, if there are any uh, charges that are made on that credit card that you did not make uh, or say the credit card number was uh, revealed in a security breach, you are not liable for that information and for any charges that were done uh, without your permission. You can also, um, another advantage of paying with a credit card um, and going online is that you do have some pr protections as far as when items will be shipped. Um, under federal law, it requires that merchants ship your items within the, spe within the specific time period that they promised when you made that purchase or if no date was promised within 30 days. Um, Always, always read the privacy policy. Mm -hmm. We get calls all the time from consumers saying, I keep receiving these emails, uh, this company has called me or I'm receiving these texts. I never sign up for this information. Where are they getting this from? Well, unfortunately, sometimes on websites, if you put in your information, it, the company will tell you, we sell our information to third parties. And then your information is sold to these other businesses, and then they reach out to you. So look to see how your information is going to be uh, shared. Look to see also how it's going to be protected as well. And another thing to look out for are fake coupon sites. Everyone loves to look for a good deal and get coupons. But you want to make sure that when you're getting those coupons, that it is from a legitimate retailer and that you are not entering in too much sensitive information. That's really great information, particularly the piece about the privacy policy, because I'm not going to lie. Usually I scroll right through that <laughs> because I'm ready to make my purchase. Um, but can you tell us what resource is out there um, to just check on the business's reputation before you even purchase an item? Sure. Well, at the Better Business Bureau, we have over 4.5 million reports on businesses throughout the United States and Canada. You're more than welcome to go online to bbb.org or you can give our office here in Northwest Florida a call and we'll be more than happy to look up a business review. If you go online, it's very easy. You type in your zip code and then you just type in the name of a business you want information on. Once you do that search, uh, you can pull up their BBB business review. You can see the type of information we have on them. Uh, we do offer an A plus to F rating scale. Of course, A plus being the best and F being the worst. Um, and we create that, that rating based off of that business's track record in the marketplace and their history and the information that we have on them um, 
throughout BBB's files. Uh, you can see if they are accredited with the Better Business Bureau, meaning that they have promised to uphold our standards in the marketplace. You can see if there's any, uh, been any customer complaints filed against that business and what that business has done to resolve those complaints. And then we also offer customer reviews. And we have all that information for free uh, for consumers just to educate them and create a sense of security knowing that they are in good hands with that business. Sounds like a really good resource that folks should be checking out. Um, you mentioned a little bit about phishing scams and emails. Can you give us an example of what one of those emails might look like? Sure, two of the big popular phishing email scams that we hear about, the biggest and most popular one, are phishing scams that make you think that there's a problem with the package delivery. Typically, uh, these phishing emails, uh, they are created to look like they're coming either from USPS, UPS, FedEx, saying that there's an issue uh, with whether it's dropping off a package or getting it out from the retailer. And a lot of times what they'll do is they'll have you click on a link where you have to enter in personal information um, that could potentially lead you to falling victim to identity theft or they'll ask you to download a PDF document when really what you're doing is you're downloading malware that fishes for information, whether it's account numbers or anything like that on your computer. Um, that's a very popular one that we see around the holidays. If you ever receive one of those, call the retailer, ask them, is there really you know, any issues going on with the package delivery? And another big red flag is if you never even made an online purchase or if you're not expecting a package delivery. Um, the next one that we see is really popular, unfortunately, uh, are emails that come through uh, posing as family members that may have traveled somewhere uh, for the holiday season. You receive an email and it says that they're stuck, whether it's weather or they missed a flight or there's been a family emergency. And unfortunately, their cell phones aren't working and so you can't contact them or give them a call, but you can email them. And typically they request that money be wired to them to help with the emergency situation that they found themselves in. Um, so those are really big around the holiday season. Well, and of course, when you hear all of this, it's pretty easy to panic <laughs> and get anxious about all of the, this stuff, especially since, again, more than half of us will be shopping online. But if you had, in closing, kind of a final word of advice for somebody that will be doing some shopping online, what would that be? Um, like I said, always make sure it's a secure website and that you know how your information is going to be protected. Uh, also, with those emails coming in, the phishing emails or websites, Always take a look at the URL, especially if you're Googling a retailer's website. Just because it's the first link that pops up in Google, it may not be the retailer's website. I know that that's happened to me before, and I thought that I was on the correct website, and in reality, it was just a spoofed website. And I almost entered in my personal sensitive information. Um, so always do extra research. If you have any questions, you can call the Better Business Bureau, we can help you out, or you can call the retailer directly, their customer service, and ask them and make sure that you're getting the um, the correct information and it is going to the uh, legitimate retailer as well. Um, and just always remember, less is more. Never give out too much information. Uh, a lot of data breaches are really, um, they're really popular and we've had a lot of big hits with popular retailers that we all know and shop at. Uh, so just make sure that you're doing, um, taking the right steps to secure your information. That is fantastic information. Thank you so much for coming on the show and giving us some holiday shopping advice. We really appreciate it, Danielle. Well, you're welcome. Thank you so much.